Welcome to this tutorial on how to make a nitrate and phosphate bio extractor for your marine reef aquarium. Start off with a small bin and cut about two and a half to three inches off the end. This will be a sufficient physical base for your extractor. You will now want to drill holes in the side of your extractor unit to allow for water flow and water exchange. You want to drill enough holes so that the water can easily pass through. As you can see, I've drilled quite a few holes in the side. Next, you'll want to get some egg crate and cut it to the size of each side of the interior of your unit and hot glue these in. You'll also want to use a form of plastic mesh to hot glue on top of the egg crate to give the macroalgae sufficient media to grab hold of. Here you can see I'm using guttering mesh. So this is what it looks like when you've glued it all in place. You'll next want to get an algae scrubber to um, use as a magnetic fixture. So I've hot glued this in to the side of the extractor unit and basically the unit sits inside the tank and then you just put the other magnet on the other side of the glass and it holds it in place. You'll want to fill your unit with macroalgae. I use Trato algae and then insert it into your tank behind your live rock and you can't even notice it. You'll want to attach an LED light to the other side of the glass so that the macroalgae has got sufficient light to utilise and convert the nitrate and phosphate into energy. Essentially what happens is the macroalgae converts nitrate and phosphate into energy. So the nitrate and phosphate just completely falls out of the picture inside your aquariums, which reduces algae and reduces fatalities in some small invertebrates. Um, it's a great solution. A lot of people don't have space for a sump or they don't have space to rear any kind of algae. So this creates a small unit where you can just put your macroalgae in and then allow it to flourish without actually taking over the tank. So uh, please like and share and subscribe. And if you've got any comments about this video, then please comment and I'll be happy to reply.